Hello, my name is Professor Case and I am the Program Director of the Vascular Sonography Program at Nova Southeastern University. Did you know there is a critical shortage of qualified sonographers in this country, particularly in the field of vascular sonography? Vascular sonography specializes in the evaluation of arteries and veins in the body and provides information for the physician in order to help them treat symptoms that may lead to stroke, blood clots in the veins, or blockages of the arteries in the legs. I know that you've probably heard about ultrasound or may have even an ultrasound procedure performed on you. It is one of the most common types of diagnostic studies performed in the United States because it is safe, painless, and cost-effective. More and more physicians have come to rely heavily on this technology for diagnosing illness and managing patients with vascular disease. Ultrasound uses high-frequency sound waves that create images of soft tissues of the body. There are three general areas of ultrasound testing, the most common of which is general sonography, which is used to look at the major organs in the abdomen, echocardiography specializes in ultrasound of the heart, vascular sonography focuses on study of blood flow in all the arteries and veins outside of the heart. Vascular studies are performed using both ultrasound imaging and Doppler flow analysis. Doppler is a type of ultrasound that allows the sonographer to evaluate blood flow inside a vessel and determine whether there's a narrowing or blockage of those vessels. Vascular sonographers are an integral member of the healthcare team. In addition to performing the ultrasound study, they prepare patients for the examination by explaining the procedure, obtaining pertinent clinical history, reviewing the patient's prior records, and performing a brief physical examination. The vascular sonographer then performs the examination of the relevant vascular segments and records the data. Once the data is compiled by the vascular sonographer, it is then presented, reviewed, and interpreted by the physician. The common medical conditions requiring the expertise of a vascular sonographer include the following. Cerebral vascular testing primarily involves the examination of the major blood vessels in the neck, called the carotid arteries. These arteries are vital as they supply the brain with blood. Disorders of these vessels include narrowing or blockages that can result in temporary loss of blood flow. This condition can lead to a stroke, which is referred to as a cerebrovascular accident, or CVA. The vascular sonographer obtains both ultrasound images as well as Doppler studies that demonstrate the flow in the arteries. Peripheral arterial testing includes examination of the upper and lower extremities, commonly known as the arms and the legs. Older patients, particularly those who smoke, have diabetes, and have high cholesterol, often get blockages in the arteries of the lower extremities. This may lead to a condition known as claudication, where patients experience pain in their calves when walking, which is typically relieved with rest. The vascular sonographer uses an assortment of tests to determine the location and severity of these blockages. Blood clots, also known as thrombi, form in the veins of the lower extremities. This is referred to as a deep vein thrombosis, or DVT. DVT is a relatively common disorder, especially for patients who have injuries and who are immobile for long periods of time. These thrombi can break away and travel through the veins to the lungs. This is referred to as a pulmonary embolus, which can lead to sudden death. Ultrasound is very accurate in detecting DVT, which can be treated effectively if detected early. Abdominal vascular testing includes the investigation of the major blood vessels in the abdomen, principally the aorta and its branches. The aorta is the largest artery in the body and carries blood flow from the heart and its branches to provide blood flow to the major organs in the abdomen and to the lower extremities. One common disorder of the aorta is an abdominal aortic aneurysm. An aneurysm is a weakening of an artery which causes vessel to expand or in severe cases even to rupture. Nova Southeastern University would also like to acknowledge Phillips Medical Systems and Unetics Vascular for their support of this project. If you have any other questions, please feel free to call the Office of the Society for Vascular Ultrasound at 301-459-7550.